What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we are back with two custom Pokemon tins. So these tins here are like the kind of like extras in the XY series. You know how you've got like the three, usually there's like Ho-Oh, like Lugia and then Celebi as like your third kind of like secret legendary. In X and Y, I, I, I kind of count this as two because I know Volcanion wasn't really like there and Zygarde was, but I still count this as like kind of like a duo third legendary Pokemon to go in like the kind of trio that they have going in in the series. But um yeah, today we're cracking into two custom like legendary trio mascot tins things. I don't even know what to call it. Professor Ray's been working hard in the lab as you guys can see or as you guys saw at the beginning of the video. Um but yeah these tins are looking pretty pretty solid. I'm I'm loving myself the the Zygarde one that Zygarde actually works perfectly with this tin. But yeah be sure to let me know your th your favorite tin in the comment section below. But with that said let's get cracking into uh into these two tins. So let's go with the Volcanion on Volcanion tin first as I did not uh, I did not like how the Volcanion kind of like worked with this tin but here is the Volcanion EX full eye it's got 180 HP with the ability steam up and volcanic heat let me know your thoughts on that one in the comment section below that one uh, that Volcanion in particular loves booster kings he has pulled so many of those Volcanions in his steam siege opening days uh, I was going through his full art binder just the other day and um yeah, he just he just had so many of them. I think I counted like at least at least three or four. I think I I went through mine and I'm like, yeah, I've only got like two or three maybe. So yeah, it's it's, it's an awesome card to pull. But um, there we go. So here is the Volcanion pin that gets featured in these custom tins because you guys already know there's always going to be an added bonus just for that extra wow factor. But let's throw that one up the back there. Let's knock this down. And our featured packs inside of this tin today is two Guardians Rising, a Sun and Moon, and Evolution. So we've got a really, like, the three most recent sets, like, as of right now, not including Burning Shadows, because your boy's picking that up tomorrow, which is really exciting, really exciting. But, um, let's go. Well, everyone can actually pick it up tomorrow from, like, general stores and everything like that, because it should be, like... August 4th tomorrow, like if, if this video goes up on time. But anyway, let's get cracking into these packs from oldest to newest and see if we can hit some solid pulls today with a little bit of Burning Shadows hype. Let's see what we can do. Alrighty, three and two, because we're cracking into evolutions. Alrighty, so we have a Rattata, Electabuzz, Magikarp, Drowsy, Caterpie, Energy Retrieval, a Magma, my dog is barking in the background. We've got a Weedle, Reverse Holo Common, and just a Raticate, regular rare to kick things off. So pretty, pretty chill way to kick things off. 60 HP with Crunch and Shadowy Bite. And let's head on to Sun and Moon. So we're going to have an installment of the Amity Aftershock as well today. So those you uh, TCGO fans, uh, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. we got some hype, hopefully. Hopefully to come in TCGO as well as in these tins. Fingers crossed that we can get some crazy good pulls today. But we've got a Grimer, a Rowlet, Drowsy, Cutie Fly. We got that Fire Energy, a Raquanid, Professor Cuckoo. We got a Golbat, Bounce Wheat, Reverse Hollow Common, and Ooh, nice. A Lapras GX. I didn't expect that one. Lapras GX 190 HP with Collect Blizzard Burn and Ice Beam GX. Nice. Nice. I love that glossy texture. It always feels so nice. But that's awesome. Awesome. Lapras GX. I, I just recently got the hyper rare Lapras from Boost Kings for the set binder. So that was absolutely amazing. But yeah, we got the, just the regular here. I wouldn't mind to see a full art Lapras. I haven't seen that card in a while. Like a long, long while. But that's an awesome pull. First hit of the opening. I'll take it. And it's a GX as well. It's not even a holo. So let's go. Let's go. So next pack, four and two. You guys will notice, like, before I open the pack, I uh, I kind of, like, raise it off cam, take it off, and then slide it over. So there's, like, literally no spoilers at all. Um, but I'll, I'll get into, it, like, as to why I completely take it off cam um, in, like, a separate video because there's, like, a little bit of a... A thing about the codes that's a giveaway on both sides and yeah it kind of kind of gets really annoying the more I think about it but we've got a field blower moving on moving on you guys we've got a rock rough and just a wire lord 
regular rare. That cool looking cartoony art. I like it. I like it. Alrighty, let's see what we can do in this final pack here from Guardians Rising. So we're, we're hitting a pretty average tin right now. Like, no joke. No joke. With the, with the one pull, that's pretty standard. Let's see if we can up that, though, in this final pack here. Okay, so we have a Talo, Jangmo-O, Deli Bird, a Trubbish, Machop, Water Energy, Machoke, <laughs> Max Potion, Tentacruel. Can we get the Machamp? We got a Salandit, which is a Reverse Holo Common, and uh, just a Golem. We were so close, so close to hitting that Machamp. Just a Golem, Holo Rare, because I think the Machamps are Holo in this set as well. But yeah, this one ha has 160 HP with Electromagnetic, Rock Wrecker, and Heavy Slam. Nice. Nice. So two hits out of that first and I'll take it. That's a win. That is a win on my part. But yeah, next up we have this one here. This is the uh, the fan fave, well, on my part. Out of the two creations today. Just looks so nice. Like, it kind of just sits perfectly inside of this tin. It's just such, such an awesome, <laughs> awesome tin. I love it. The Ultimate Zygarde. Pokemon tin, but there here it is the Zygarde. This one is actually from the Mega Powers box So if you, you guys want to scoop up your own uh, Zygarde EX, just pick up the Mega Powers box and there you go It gets spoon-fed to you as a promo But yeah, it's a it's got 190 HP with Lands Pulse, Cell Storm and Lands Wrath Check that one out. You guys can see the little weird little logo in the bottom corner there saying it's from Fates Collide But it's from some little mini s subset that they just created up uh, created out of nowhere like, I didn't even think that was a thing. There's, like, a subset inside of a set that's been released for, like, years. Like, I know the Mega Lucario was a part of a subset from Furious Fist. Like, I, I, I didn't even know what to call it. It just says 54A out of 124. So, it's, like, in addition to the set. It's, like, now I need to add this to the set binder. I, I, I don't know if I have a complete set now without that Zygarde EX. It's, it's, it's weird. And here is the addition to this this tin. This is boss. This is the Zygarde uh, complete form figure. It looks absolutely awesome. It just looks so godlike on this on this stand. I love it so much. Let, let me know your thoughts on of that one in the comment section below. But yeah, we got the Volcanion. Can it ride on top of the Zygarde? No, nah, it's not gonna work. I I tried. I tried. But anyway, we'll have that featured right up the back there. And yeah, so once again. Zygarde or Volcanion? Let's battle it out in the comment section below. Which one is your favorite from today's opening? But with that said, let's go same order as last time. Let's crack into evolutions first and work our way through. Okay, let's see what we can hit from this one. Three, two. Alrighty, so kicking things off from the Zygarde tin, we've got a Voltorb. We get the Fairy Energy. Onyx, Staryu, Doduo, a Switch, Metapod, Professor Oak's Hint, a Hitmonchan, which is a reverse rare, and just Eradicate once again. This is looking looking pretty familiar. I think that's how we kicked things off last time. So what did we get our Sun and Moon? We got a Lapras last time. So if things are going to trends right now, we should get a hit. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we get a hit. Just throw that trash off to the side. Carried off the side. Four and two. So we should get a hit here if, if everything goes to plan. So we got a Rog and Roller, Radata, Chinchow, a Paris, Poliwag, Psychic Energy, the Simeon, Pokemon Catcher, Golbat. We got a Decidueye, which is a reverse rare once again. We're going back to back with the reverse rares. And. Ah, just a Bruxish. So no, no, we couldn't keep up the trends. It's got 110 HP with Vivid Charge and Psychic Fangs. Okay, so we got two Komodo packs from Guardians Rising left. Can we hit some power? I'm talking that textured goodness. You guys already know your boy is <laughs> is hunting for all those textured cards to complete the set bind. It's not even for my own personal greed. I just I just want uh, some minty fresh pulls for the set binder. Okay, so we got a Jangmo. Wishy Washy, Deli Bird, a Mudbray, Slowpoke, Fire Energy, we got a Marini, Sableye, a Energy Lotto, Jangmo O, Reverse Hollow Common, and just a Pangoro, regular rare. It's got 130 HP with Sky Uppercut and Magnum Punch. Okay, final pack here 
from the uh, epic, epic Zygarde tin. Can we hit something to finish things off? That is the question. Let's go. So we have a Murkrow, Snorunt, a Patrat, Gligar, Bellsprout, Water Energy, evolving into Weeping Bell, a, a Glalie, Hala, how you doing? Hala. Ah, oh, no, we couldn't get anything there either. I totally skipped over the Slowpoke. I, I couldn't see the Reverse Hollow Shine for a second there, but there we go. We got a dud pack. Oh, we, get, we just got wrecked. Professor A, you really need to work on your tins. The pulls are terrible. Terrible as of late. But um, I'll take it. I'll take it. Two pulls out of that first tin. We got something. That, that's always a plus <laughs> in comparison to yesterday's opening. So if you guys missed out on yesterday's opening of the mixed Sun and Moon Boost Pack opening, you didn't miss much. We didn't really pull anything all too fancy. But we did on TCGO. So... I'm gonna, um, we're gonna head over to TCGO in the Amity After Show right now, but before we do that, we'll take one, one more second here to appreciate these gorgeous full arts that were featured in today's custom Pokemon tins made by Professor A. They look absolutely gorgeous. Let me know in the comment section below, hashtag Team Volcani on a hashtag Team Zygarde. But yeah, with that said, let's head over into the Amity After Show and see what virtual pulls we can get today. So I'll catch you guys on the flip. Alrighty, and we're back here in the Amity After Show. We're going to crack into two Evolutions Boost Packs, two Sun and Moon, and four Guardians Risings like, like we did just before. And we, we're going to try and beat a holo, like two Reverse Rares, a Hollow, and a GX pull, the Lapras GX. So let's see if we can do that. Kicking things off with the two packs of Evolutions. Let's go snip that one open or rip it open. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Well, let's see what we can get inside of this first pack here. So we got a Reverse Hollow Magic card. You guys already know when you get the weakest card in the set, there's bound to be something shiny behind this one. Oh no, it doesn't come through for us today. We got the Doug Trio. Usually, usually get like a Reverse Hollow Magic card or like a Reverse Hollow Phoebus, and then you'll get something powerful. But um, no dice, no dice. Actually, we need to do one more, one more evolutions. Let's go crack into this one. What have we got? We got an Electabuzz, Tangela, Caterpie, Sandshrew, Maintenance, Macho, we got a Sandshrew there, Reverse Holo, and... Ah, oh, no. We, we got dudded. We got the Beedrill, regular rare. Okay, Sun and Moon, you're up next. Ultra Ball, come on. Let's get that powerful Ultra Ball for TCGO. That shiny, shiny, secret rare Ultra Ball. Okay. What do we have here? So we, we do have a reverse rare. That's a nice start. That's one. One reverse rare. <coughs> I always burp in the Amity after. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But we got a beware. It's got 130 HP with bear hug and super power. Even yesterday, in, in yesterday's installment of the Amity after show, I, I cracked into a couple of packs and I, I just had this urge to burp. But we got another reverse rare. We've hit a Rebombi, which is a hollow in the set as well. That's pretty good. And just a Golduck, regular rare. It's got 90 HP with Scratch and Double Jet. Okay. So we have, we've hit our two reverse rares. Now we need a Hollow and a Ultra Rare from Guardians Rising to finish things off. And we do have four packs to crack into of Guardians Rising. Cannot wait to crack into those Burning Shadows. I actually, I actually sn snaked them from the pre-release. Uh, video that was like a couple. I think I saved them. I don't think I took those ones. I think I saved those ones But we've got a Lunala, which is a uh, reverse rare once again. Awesome pull right there and A Heliolisk regular rare. It's got 100 HP with quick attack and raging thunder Yeah, no, I think I, I got um, given a couple of codes at the pre-release and The ones from the actual kits. I think I gave no, all of those ones should have been given away. And then the eight that I opened in the studio, I think I redeemed straight away. I can't even remember. I just had like a cluster of codes. So if I redeem some that were shown in the video, I saw, I'm sorry, you guys. Like today, you guys would have noticed like, I would have kept the codes. I did ke keep the codes. But we got a Honchcrow. It's got 110 HP with Faint Attack and Raven's Claw. Yeah, usually I give them away, but um, lately I've been kind of like wanting to save them because I want to do more on TCGO for you guys, like more virtual pack openings, even like a second opening a day, um, just dedicated to TCGO even. Oh, nice. We got a Toxapex GX Full Art. I was really hoping for something like that 
in real life today, but to hit it on TCGO is always a nice bonus here. It's got 210 HP with Spike Cannon and Super Intense Poison with the uh, GX ability Total Shelter. What does that say? It says it does 150 damage and it says prevent all effects of including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, I could see that. That could work out alright. It's not really too much of a game changer, but it, it could definitely, you could definitely make it work. But let's get into our final pack here. I can, I can dwell on that a little bit later on. So what do we have to finish things off here? We got a rescue stretcher. We got Murkrow and a Mudsdale Hollow. Nice. So TCGO comes through with the win for sure today. No, no doubt about that. We got the full art. We got the Mudsdale and three reverse rares. That is powerful. Let's have a look here. It's got 140 HP with enhanced stomp and ho high horsepower. High horsepower says that 180 damage. This Pokemon does 40 damage to itself. So it's not too bad, but it does have pretty low health, which kind of sucks. Anyway, what does it say? It says it spits, a it spits a mud that provides resistance to both wind and rain. So the walls of old houses were often coated with it. Okay, so Mudsdale was used to build houses. Nice. Okay, well, uh, let's do let's do a quick bonus pack here. Uh, let's let's do Breakpoint. We got 93. It's an odd number. I don't like like odd numbers. So let's get into this one. It's our little bonus round here. What have we got? So we got a new cricket team. We got Pokemon Catcher. They reverse hollow, and. No way! Yo, that is awesome! <laughs> Just a bonus pack, you guys. Just a bonus pack. And we hit that secret rare, Gyarados EX from Breakpoint. No way. You guys just saw that. We're just, just casual, just like, oh yeah, just a pack of Breakpoint. And bam! It just hits out of nowhere. That is awesome. Wow, what a way to finish things like in today's opening. Such an awesome op opening. Let me know your thoughts on that Gyarados EX in the comment section below. It's probably not the most playable card in the world, but it's still an awesome pull nonetheless <laughs> to add to the little TCGO collection. But yeah, let's, let's leave that up to wrap things up today. So if you guys did enjoy today's custom Pokemon tin opening, be sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and be sure to make uh, make sure you guys have the push notification turned on by hitting the bell next to the subscribe button and with that said i'm gonna get up out of here thanks for watching today's opening and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one peace